All right, so um, when you get home, you will have your mug uh, made out of slab, hopefully, that's the, the goal. And then you will need to add a handle to it. And we had that kind of extra scrap piece of clay from when we cut our stencil out. So I'm going to use a dowel as a straight edge, but you can use a ruler, whatever, at home. And I'm just kind of cutting off one side. And then I'm going to flip it over because I tend to be right-handed. And that way I can cut over, cut off the other side without having to uh, change position so much, so to speak. So when I am cutting this handle, I am making sure that it tapers. It's kind of thicker at the top, thinner at the bottom. And then I'm only going to cut off kind of a 45 degree angle here, which is what I'm going to attach. So I'm holding my needle tool at a 45 degree angle when I make this slice. And I'm going to just slice through at a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to show you what that 45 degree angle looks like. So that was the straight edge. There's a 45 degree angle there. And that's going to be what I attach to the mug. I like to try to find the seam that I originally kind of worked with um, and put the mug together because that's a great place to kind of add the handle. So I'm going to grab some slip again and a toothbrush and I'm going to slip up here and I'm going to slip where I'm going to add the handle and then I'm going to go ahead and gently press the handle on here. I have my fingers on the inside of the mug as I'm pinching and pressing so that it doesn't collapse the wall. So there's always counter pressure here. And then I'm starting to kind of turn the handle down gently. And it is kind of getting a little bit of cracks here as I make that curve. And I'm trying to line it up this way, kind of vertically so that it's straight. And I'm also trying to make sure that when I put my hand in here, I decide what, how many fingers I want to have inside the handle of my mug. I like to usually have two fingers and you want to make this bigger than what you would anticipate because it's going to shrink somewhere between 10 and 13% when it dries and it gets fired. So I'm cutting off the excess that I don't want, no longer need there from that uh, piece and I'm dipping my toothbrush in the slip again and I'm going to go ahead and score and slip here and then score and slip on the inside of the handle and then I'm going to gently put my fingers on the inside of the mug, push the handle, make sure that it's lined up vertically. And it is. Okay, so now I'm kind of lifting the handle back up because it kind of wants to droop down. Remember, I did have this in front of the fan for about five minutes. You don't want to wait too long to add your handle. If you wait too long, the handle might get too stiff. And then uh, when you go to bend it, it just cracks instead of bending. Uh, and now I'm just pinching the edges of the handle with my fingers to make it a little bit smoother. It was kind of sharp edge because of the cuts that I had made with the tool that I was using. Then with one of these pieces of scrap here, I'm going to roll a small coil and I'm going to attach this right here at the top of the handle just to kind of ensure that this handle is really secure. So then I'm going to put the coil there tear off the excess, press that coil in, and then kind of smooth. I will take a paintbrush and I will paint slip over this handle. It'll fill in some of the cracks that I'm seeing from when I bent it, and that'll fill in those cracks. You can always just take the toothbrush and your fingertip as well and just kind of if you don't have a paintbrush at home, you can use the toothbrush and then just kind of come back and gently rub smooth those cracks with your hands instead of a paintbrush. OK, 
okay? So I'm just always trying to make this so that you guys can do this at home with the tools that you have. All right, so that is the mug, and now we're ready to start to add the monster features onto the mug that we want to add. Okay.